Okay, so this is meant to be a companion video for the dagger making video. It's on uh, the Jitte, um, which has only one cross guard. So the, up to this point, this, the, the process has been exactly the same. We've made uh, the core of a dagger, except it's longer. This one is a foot and a half. Now you can do them a little shorter if you like, uh, a foot to, and three inches is fine too, but a foot and a half I think is about a standard. So we're just going to add on a hooked type of garb, which is nice for uh, hooking weapons, and that's what makes the, the Jitte a signature weapon. Um, the trick is getting it to be strong, but soft enough that it doesn't hurt anybody, and so that's that's an interesting trick to get that to work, and I've found that the best way to do that is really Gorilla Tape. Uh, gorilla Tape and Foam is really all you need. You can sometimes add little cores in if it's going to needs to be really, really strong, but I wouldn't worry about that for this. So we're just going to do a basic uh, core uh, Jitte hook. And to do that, um, I'm just going to take some of this extra pipe insulation here, and I'm going to build the little hook going up. Now, I've, I've tried it lots of different ways. I've tried cutting into the foam and attaching it to the bamboo, lots of systems. It seems like the simplest system uh, really is just to build it very much like you would build a dagger, and but just using Gorilla Tapes in, instead of duct tape, and it tends to hold uh, very, very well. So I'm just going to measure up about 7 inches here from the bottom to see where my cross guard is going to be right about there. Once again, it's about balance. You want it to be, you know, not too far down or else it won't it won't move well when you fight with it. And then I'm also going to get about seven inches of this type of insulation here, which I'm going to cut off to become my cross guard. And, you know, remember you have, make sure you have a nice sharp um, knife when you're working on this. And there's some tricks that you can learn about cutting uh, pipe insulation if you're trying to get a, a hook like that. When you're trying to get a hooked shape, um, if you just bend it, it's usually going to pop back out. So one of the tricks you'll see um, when people are using pipe insulation is they usually cut out a wedge of that and they take that piece out and then it will fold nicely. So we're going to be using that same trick as we build this. So first I'm going to come up on my, on my, on my knife here and um, looking at where I'm going to hook this on. Now this, you can see I've used a wedge shaped point. Uh, it's kind of going back and then flat on the back. That's because the Jitte is supposed to be a one-sided cutting weapon. It doesn't, it doesn't have a cutting edge on the back. And so that tells the person who's using it where the front is. So that's also where we're going to put our front here. We're going to use that as the front there. And we don't just want to mount this straight on, though. It'll, it'll pop right off if we do that. The trick is to split it and put it over the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, the seam here, and I'm just going to cut it right down the middle and open it up. Just about two inches or so down is all I need. And then finding that seven inch mark again, I'm going to put it right over like that. And that's going to give me all the grip I need. Now, some people like to take this all the way out past, but um, I found that it's nice to be able to lay that weapon across like that and have it be flush. And so I don't, I don't go all the way on that. I just put it just, just far enough that it's even with the blade like that. So I'm going to get my Gorilla Tape. Now, Gorilla Tape, I can't underestimate Gorilla Tape. Really, really great stuff. You can do all kinds of stuff with the Gorilla Tape. But uh, you can also overuse it. It's too thick for most jobs. So the first thing I do is I double uh, flip it over so it's got double, it's double sided like that. And I'm going to just come in here on the back and I'm just going to lay it on right on that back corner. And then I'm going to split, open up that split, noticing where my blade is again, to make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to lay it on. And just pressing it on there. This is going to do a lot just as I'm working with it. See, so you can see it's already holding on there really well. Now, when I put another piece of Gorilla Tape on that, this is not going to come apart. It'll break before the, the tape uh, gives out. So that's what you want to do with that. That's looking pretty good. So I'm going to get another piece of Gorilla Tape, and I'm just going to lay it on right over that, like this, pressing it right on there, and then I'm going to wrap it right around the back. And now when those two pieces of the Gorilla Tape touch each other, it's, it's really, really, really strong and it's really hard to break it. Now, the wedges, these corners are really important. As you saw on the dagger, these corners are the, are the most weak uh, places. So I'm going to take another piece of Gorilla Tape, and I'm going to split it like that. Set one piece aside for now. And then I'm going to take the other piece, and I'm going to lay it right in that crease there. And I'm just going to go diagonally down like that, touching both the blade and the cross guard. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end, diagonally down like that, just getting right in that crease there, pressing it in, and crossing. And that, that cross action really does end up making it a lot stronger, a lot, lot stronger. Um, to, to finish off that, that securing it on, I also like to take a piece and set it right on the whole blade like that. 
And really, the more you invest in the weapon at the beginning, the longer it will last, and you're going to not end up repairing it a lot, which is not fun to do. So there we go. Really, really strong. We've got, you can see I've got a, that sticking out there now. That's good and strong. Now, this will tear right off unless I can real tape it. And you, so we're going to do that in another step. But as I was talking about before, there's a wedge you're going to do about two inches up. You're just going to cut halfway in to this. Just halfway in. You're going to cut a little 45 degree in both directions. 45, 45. And you take that little piece out. There it is. Take that piece out. Now, once you've done that, this will fold and it'll actually stay in that position. And all you need to do is just get some Gorilla Tape and tape along that corner. So take a piece out like that. Once again, splitting it so it fits in that in that space better. Fold that up and set it right down in there. And then pressing it around like that. Initially, I, I actually fold it more than I want to. I'd like this to end up further out, but if I don't overcompensate for the curve and really get it pressed in, when it work, when I when I use it a lot, it'll bend out and bend out. It'll be too far out. So you really have to kind of overdo it when you're making it. So I'm gonna get that second piece, and I'm gonna come around here, just in the bottom here, and put this right in the base, and wrap it in like that. Now this whole wedge, this whole uh, hook is gonna get covered in Gorilla Tape, and that's what actually makes these hooks work. If you just cover them with duct tape, they end up breaking really easily. Um, so what you got to do is you got to come in here with Gorilla Tape. And, and just press it right on the bottom there. Make sure you've, you're touching the blade part. And then all the way up the back side of that. And then just press that Gorilla Tape in around like that. That's adding a lot of strength to this foam. Uh, and then the same thing on the inside. Pretty much anywhere that you don't Gorilla Tape it is where it's gonna tear. So if you Gorilla Tape the whole thing, you're gonna have an excellent uh, chit tape here. So you check it out. Now I can notice that I've got a little spot here and a little spot there. That's what I want to cover. So I'm going to take another piece out like that, just split it, and then I'm going to come around and just wherever I need it, just putting it on there. But noticing wherever wherever there is any foam showing on that curve, I'm going to cover because if I don't, it's going to tear there. Well, that's pretty much got it. There we go. And I can test it out. It's really strong like that. If I'm a little worried about it at all, I can add a little bit more along the base here and just secure it up or along up in here. Uh, one of the nice tricks I've found that really helps with any sort of securing any uh, design is to come along the inside like this and make sure the inside has a piece of Gorilla Tape running down and then up the blade. That trick right there with the U, you can see right there, really, really helps to keep this from tearing when something hits it because it's got some strength up off the blade. And there you go. The rest is exactly as you'd expect with a dagger. You're just going to cover this with silver, silver that up, and brown the blade, and you're done. All right.